A prized landmark in West Hartford is getting a new home. Right now, crews are removing the tail from the Connie the Whale sculpture on the grounds of what was the West Hartford Children's Museum. But it's not swimming too far. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler tells us the plans for its new home. Since 1976, Connie the whale has been living on land. I wish it was staying out there, but I totally get it, and it is nice that they're saving at least some of it. Mark Roostrek says he's been coming to see Connie for years, well before he even had kids. I mean, I've been coming here since I was their age, and uh, it's been nice coming over here, taking them inside there, having them run up the back of the whale tail and everything, and just seeing what the actual size of a whale is. The Cetacean Society International first built the whale. It's lived in front of the Children's Museum in West Hartford for more than 45 years. It's an emotional day for us. Dan Barstow's father originally came up with the idea to create a whale to scale, weighing more than 20 tons. But recently, the land the whale sits on was sold. We'd love to save the entire whale, but it's just too expensive and too risky. So the tail is a wonderful solution. Barstow says Continental Properties, who purchased the land for luxury housing, is taking care of all the costs to move the tail. Eventually, Connie will swim over to a new home. We expect to move it just across the street to have the tail look like Connie's just swimming away to freedom. We're going to have it have sort of landscaping to make it look like waves going around it and really keep that spirit. Right now, crews are working on taking the tail off of the whale. It'll eventually have a home on the Trout Brook Trail Greenway. But until then, CSI is waiting to get their permitting accepted. They're expecting that to come sometime in the summer. In West Hartford, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.